Pressable Defects coming at you with a new segment presented by my man, Guy Forge. What is up, Defects? You know we love bringing you new stuff, so we're hitting you with a new segment that we like to call Cover Chasing. Cover Chasing. Defects, get excited. We're bringing you this new segment. We're going to be featuring some covers, man. It's all about the covers. Something totally different. The defects love showing you some stuff. Maybe these are covers that you should be on the lookout for because you know what? There's a comic book behind the cover. All right? So I'm going to go to the butcher with his picks for cover chasing. First up, guys, Punisher number two from April of 2014. The Jerome O'Pena 1 in 50 cover, guys. My first pick for cover chasing. Jay, that cover is ridiculous. What made you pick this cover, bro? All right, first off, guys, it's Punisher in a California setting, which you don't see much. You got O'Pena blaze this with the Punisher graffiti in the background. You got the sunset in LA. You got the palm trees in the background. Usually Punisher is a New York City East Coast guy. We got him here in Cali with those Cali vibes. Not only that, it the print run on this book, the total print one run was 31,000. So you divide that by 50 because it's a 1 in 50, and you get 634 copies of this. It's a ghost, guys. Very hard book to find in a 9.8. That's awesome. Speaking of 9.8s, Jay. Let's talk about what this last sold for. Let's what what did it sell for in a raw and what did it sell in a nine eight? Give me a little so, info. Yeah, it's funny you said that. So last sold on April 13th in a CGC 9.8 for $385. But the prices range so much on this book because they're very hard to find. It's a rare book to find. So rare that I couldn't even find one single copy on eBay last sold or con- currently being sold in a raw copy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And people just don't know what it is, right? Yeah. Right. That's that's yep. the price fluctuation too. That's awesome, man. Here's here's a question too. Um, one, do you have it, Jay? Since I, I know we're talking about chasing it. So. No, I, I am currently chasing it. I am in the process of buying this book right now, guys. Ooh. So stay tuned, Defects. You might get an update on maybe a next episode. So now, Jay, here's the question too. On a follow up on that. If you do get it, and actually not if, because I know you're going to get it. When you get it, when you when the chase is over, is this, I know it's a dumb question for this book, but is it for the PC or are you buying it to keep it and maybe turn it around and as an investment and sell it? Nah, this book, you know I'm a Frank Castle Punisher guy. This book is staying in the PC. So here we go, guys. Another extension of Frank Castle and Cosmic Ghost Rider. This is Cosmic Ghost Rider destroys marvel history number one 2019 the scorpion comics exclusive the virgin exclusive done by none other than clayton crane i mean he murdered that (laughs) that is crazy uh let's 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 talk about it why'd you pick this one all right so here we go three things i love the infinity gauntlet Ghost Rider and The Punisher all on one cover that Clayton Crane absolutely blazed. This is my by far my favorite Crane cover. So a book I had to put out there for people that didn't know about it. A book that it's a rare book, guys. Only 600 of these virgin copies in existence. Ooh. Scorpion absolutely killed it on this cover. Beautiful. It's, ama- it's amazing. Yeah. I, I you keep looking at it. You find new things as as you look at it. Yeah. Um at, go, go over go over some pricing on this, Jay. 
All right, so guys, back in April 9th, a CGC 9.8 blue label sold for $500. Um, back in May 19th, a raw copy sold for $300. So even it, even for a raw copy, guys, you, you may not get the 9.8 in it. It's still selling for 300 bucks in the Virgin. The trade sells for a little bit less as usual because it's a little bit of a higher print run. But again, this Virgin copy, only 600 copies in existence. And I'm going to ask the last question, even though I do know the answer to it. Do you have it? Absolutely. I have it signed <laughs> in a 9.8 and remarked, guys. It's on my IG page. Probably the best remark. Well, no, sorry. One of the best remarks I have in my collection. And you know I called Jay the king of the remark, right? This remark is ridiculous. Go check it out on his IG page because you're going to love it. Um, that's that's it for Jay's picks. So now we're going to move on to Matty Forge. Very excited about these guys. So, Matty, tell us what you picked, baby. All right. First up, I got another ghost as well. I got Moon Knight number one from Marvel Comics 2014. And this is the Bill Sienkiewicz or Sienkiewicz, depending on how you want to say it. One in 75. Oof. Ooh. That cover is crazy. I mean, I, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I've never seen it before you showed me. So there you go. That's what this segment's all about, right? This be is on the a lookout. cool, cool cover, guys. So here's a question, Maddie. Why'd okay. you pick it? Why did I pick it? All right. Well, I'm getting ramped up for Moon Knight. Okay. I am ready for Moon Knight. I'm a Moon Knight fan. This is a cover that actually was shown to me just not too long ago, you know, probably uh, at the beginning of this year. I didn't know that it existed either. Um, so now that I have it in mind, I'm on the I'm on the hunt for it. Let's put it that way. I don't want to I don't want to jump the shark on this one, but beautiful cover. Well, not to preview, but Punisher last last round looked like he was sitting on the throne of his own. Now we got Moon Knight sitting on the throne of his own. These are all ghost covers. Who knows what Guy Forge has in store for when he goes up? It's true. But let's keep it going with Maddie. Maddie, give us some little info on the pricing on this book recently. All right. So this book is a ghost, like we said. I forgot to mention earlier. This is around a fifty-eight thousand print run. So there's a at a one in seventy-five. There's about seven hundred seventy-five of them. I mean, that's not an exact number. The, the The ratios are never exact to that. It could be a little bit more. It could be a little less. Regardless, it's it's hard to find. Um, so pricing, right? That's what we're talking about. Pricing. So the last raw copy sold on June fourth, not too long ago, for just shy of two thousand dollars. It was a best offer accepted. So we can we could guess to see what that was. Um, it was a near mint copy. But yes, this book does sell for that much. Almost $2,000 in a raw. So Oof. people are catching on that Moon Knight's hot and that this book is a ghost. Obviously, I see it only going up from there. So I would strike quickly, Matt. <laughs> I know. Well, this is going to be have to be something I find in a back issue bin because a 9.8 sold in March. So... This is that was months before like the whole the hype that was just at the beginning of this this craze of all these prices. The nine eight last sold for twenty five hundred back in March, but there's currently one on eBay listed for ten thousand oh, dollars. Wow. Obviously, a little bit oh. ridiculous, but in these you know I, I could see it going for maybe four or five grand. So, well, once once we get a trailer for that, look for that thing to go nuts. Yep. So that's going to be crazy. Um, obviously, we talked about, we're going to ask you if you have it. We know you're chasing it. So here's the question, the, the, the question of all questions. When you get it, is it yours? Is it staying with you? That's a tough one. Um, it all depends, right? So this is one of those books that we may have, well, if you guys watching at home, the three of us, we may have passed this in a back issue bin at some point in our lives, right? Because I... I've shown this cover to a couple people. Not a lot of people know what know what this is, right? So I'm going to hold out a little bit of hope that I can find this in a back issue bin one day. Uh, obviously, closer to the series, it's going to get less and less of a chance to do that. If I find it in a really high condition, I will probably sell it because 
that's just a huge number. I'd rather put it into like a Silver Age Grail. You know, I'm about the Silver Age and the Bronze Age Grails. I probably would turn it to, to do that. But if I find it in like a little bit like a, like a VF or VF minus, I'd probably hold on to it because it is an awesome cover of one of my favorite characters. That's awesome, man. That's great. Yep. Um, let's, let's check out what else you got. What's your second pick this week? Surprise, surprise. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Another Bill Sienkiewicz cover. From the first uh, series of Moon Knight, number eight, and from 1981, this is just an iconic cover. If you're a Moon Knight fan, you know this cover. Um, there you go. That's pretty cool, man. I, I, what's with the ha ha's? Uh, basically, if you read the issue, Moon Knight goes even more insane than he already is. Um, he, you see the werewolf in the back. That's not actually a werewolf. It's a guy wearing a mask, and he kind of drugs um, Mark Spector with like a hallucinogen and he goes even crazier. Uh, and a lot of people in the crowd, same thing. Uh, so that's what's going on in the cover there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, obviously, I don't want to ask why you picked it. We know you love Moon Knight, obviously. Or you, is there another reason why you picked it? I love the contrast, right? I love red. You guys know I love the red, the sucker for a redhead and the black and white. And then just the red just pops. I think it's just it just some and it just sums up who Moon Knight is all on one cover. You know, that's it. Uh, listen, the, it's 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 about the covers. So I mean, this is a lot of artwork. We're gonna we're gonna be featuring a lot of artwork when we talk about these things. Um, give us a little info on the pricing recently, Matt. Yeah, so this is a book since it's from 1981. There's a huge gap. If you find this in a nine eight, the last sold was on June six for thirteen fifty. But raws go for around anywhere from ten to twenty dollars. Um, last sold was about a B VF and it sold for 12 bucks. You could find these in back issue bins, but obviously as an older book, the higher the grade, the price really starts to jump. That's a good point. And I mean, listen, one, do you have it? I do. I have several. <laughs> good. I figured that much. Um, and obviously you're keeping them for yourself. And, and I, my, my guess is when we start to get some, real real like juice on this movie and the trailer stops and everything uh, trailer drops i'm sure you're going to be flipping some of those uh maybe in some auctions who knows yeah i'll keep the highest grade for my collection and then you know when i, I like i said i whenever i see this i grab it so I'll, I'll probably be turning those around to the community that's awesome i'm sure people will be happy to get them there you go all right defects it's my turn Guy Forge hitting you with some books. This is a book that, you know what, I've been chasing for a long time. It is called Cover Chasing, and I know some of the people out there in the community know I've been chasing this book because um, we've talked about it. And I've talked about it on our show. I've talked about it on other shows, but hitting you with it right now, Ultimatum number one from Marvel back in 2009. Um, this is by artist David Finch. This is a one in 100. I, I can't talk about how much I love this cover. I chose this cover because it's just ridiculously simplistic. It's got so much power behind it, but it's so simple. Okay. Just the wording on it, the way Magneto's just chilling, like either ready for battle, just out of battle, whatever it is, he is just chilling. And you got Milnir on the, on the floor over there. Just like, you know what? Yeah, I can wield this one anytime I want. So this is why I picked this. I love the artwork on here. I love how simple it is. Um, just to go over some pricing, guys. Um, this last sold in a raw, I think in April, um, for around two sixty five, dollars which is not crazy, um, but it's a... It's a it's a big price for a raw book, I guess. Um, in a nine eight back in April, it sold for around six hundred and fifty dollars. Um, you know what? Listen, if you like stuff, this is why we're showing it. I love this cover. I do not have it. I am still chasing it. I will get it. I will. <laughs> It'll happen. Go. And if I get it, it's going nowhere. It's going to be put up on the wall so I can see it. Uh, if it's a high enough grade, I'll send it in, and we'll we'll try and. Uh, We'll try and slab it up, but um, I'm excited. I'm excited to chase this book. I think it's a dope cover. This this is just going back to my childhood, guys. Um, I picked this because 
I constantly chase this book. I consistently chase this book. Um, Spider-Man number one from 1990, uh, put out by Marvel. Obviously, artwork by the Todd father. He is ridiculous. I don't know how many times this has been done over in homage because it is a classic cover. Um, I love, obviously, we have a bunch of different variations of this. Maddie, you have a gold one. You have a platinum one. You have a silver one. And then there's variations of each one of those. Oh Newsstand, yeah. And no Newsstand. price. Yeah. It, it's crazy. Um, I am on currently chasing, getting all these in a nine, eight. Um, it doesn't matter. I just the regular ones I want. Just my, my son is a big fan of Spider-Man. So I want to create something on the wall for him with all of them. I just picked up this one, this particular one that we're showing in a nine, eight. So I was happy to get that. I currently have one of mine. Um, I think it's the red one out in our last submission to CGC. Gold. So, fin- fi- oh, is it the gold one? Yeah. Fingers crossed. No, you're colorblind, Sorry. but I mean, I am. You're right. <laughs> it is the gold one. Um, fingers crossed that comes back a nine eight, and I'll be happy, and I'll have two down. So, um, that's why I picked it. I have some info on the pricing on this. Um, it's not crazy. Um, the last one I think sold for around eighty dollars um, in a in a nine point eight, and then raw they go for you know anywhere around ten dollars if you can find them. So, um, and I'm sure you can find them. So obviously me, I'm chasing it and I am keeping it just because I want to be able to get them all in a nine, eight and kind of, you know, put them up on the wall and have a nice display. Okay. Defects before you head out, keep an eye tomorrow, Friday, we will be dropping our five K giveaway entry video. You're not going to want to miss it because that's going to tell you how to enter. And you, who doesn't want to enter to win prizes? Everybody loves prizes. It's a big giveaway. Also, Thank you for showing up, for cover chasing. Obviously, this is our new segment. We hope you guys like it. Put a comment in the comment section below. Tell us if you enjoyed what we brought you. And tell us what you're chasing, too, because you know what? We like to hear about it. So thank you. We will catch you on the next video.